Fixing your teeth in Germany can be pretty f***ing expensive. One single new tooth can easily cost you a thousand or two thousand euro. And I'm not talking about gold teeth here. That's also what Kartarsteron experienced when posting this post on our Germany subreddit. Let's see what options you have to, first of all, get better dental coverage here in Germany and second of all, pay less for new teeth or teeth cleaning in this episode of Finance Couch. Judging from your post and simple probability, Kartarsteron is insured in the public healthcare system. Because privately insured people usually don't have any issues when it comes to the dentist. We get appointments whenever we want and private insurance usually pays for dental cleaning and teeth replacement as well. Even if you have a really <laughs> private health insurance, it will probably pay at least 50% or 70% of your new tooth. So, what can people in the public health insurance do to come closer to the benefits of the private health insurance? Because most public insurances don't pay for new teeth or dental cleaning anymore. So, if you want a Hollywood smile, the only thing you can do is to get a private dental additive insurance. Now, that's different from private health insurance. Private health insurance means to quit from the public system completely. Private additives means you stay in the public health insurance and increase your coverage with voluntary private insurance plans. These plans exist in inpatient, everything related to hospital, that can be pretty useful, outpatient, when it comes to regular doctor treatment, that's quite expensive for the services that you get if you ask me. And the dental additive insurance of course, which is the most prominent additive insurance among our clients. And I also feel it's the most useful, especially if you compare the monthly premiums with the cost of a new tooth. Super worth it. Now you guys have two questions, I know it. How do you get this insurance? And which insurance is the best? There is no universally best insurance, that's for sure. There is an insurance though that is best for your individual situation, for your individual requirements. And to help you find that insurance, come with me to our best dental insurance in Germany calculator on our website perfinex.de that is linked in the description. It's super easy. You just type in your age and answer two questions. Do you want Zahnerhalt? Zahnerhalt is everything related to your existing teeth. So teeth cleaning and all kinds of treatments of teeth. And the second question, do you want Zahnersatz? Zahnersatz is coverage for teeth replacement. That's probably what car testosterone is looking for. Click Anbieter vergleichen and tada! A 30 year old will pay 7 euros to 13 euros a month for dental insurance. Not that bad considering the cost of a new tooth is about 1000 to 2000 euros. Now the three percentages you will see will also tell you which dental insurance is the best one for you. The first percentage is how much the insurance pays for dental cleaning. And not surprisingly, the first and cheapest insurance doesn't pay anything here. The more expensive you go, the more the insurance will pay for dental cleaning. Same for all kinds of dental treatment, that's the second percentage. And the last percentage is for teeth replacement. You probably want to get a reasonable percentage here as well, otherwise a dental additive insurance is not really worth it in my opinion. As of shooting this video, the Ergo Dental Insurance seems like a good deal to me because it covers 100% in all three areas for just 11 euro 80 a month. And if you click on the blue button on the right and get the insurance with our calculator, you even secure a 15 euro Amazon voucher for yourself and a small affiliate commission for us, which I would very much appreciate, because it helps us maintaining the channel without any extra cost for you. Hopefully this helps everyone insured in the public sector for their Hollywood smile. And if you have a question for one of the next episodes of Finance Couch, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to smile.